And I found myself on a drive recently where I'm like, oh boy, I've got to pee really bad. And I'm like, all right, I've got about 15 minutes until the stop. And I'm like, okay, I can make this. And as soon as I start taking the exit and I visually see the place where the gas station where I know I'm going to stop to pee, all of a sudden I can't, like I almost peed my pants right then and there. And it was literally the visual feedback of seeing, okay, there's the bathroom. It like 10 X my need to pee. What is that? It's that same thing. Uh, yeah. um, you probably heard the phrase from like your mom or something when you were a kid, like you eat with your eyes. You know what I mean? It's, it, yeah. it's targeting. And one of the big things in my nonprofit for autism spectrum disorder is vision. In fact, like most, if not close to all members of the autism spectrum disorder uh, community fail what we call an anti-saccade test, which is targeting one thing and ignoring another visual stimuli. I mean, our eyes are by far our most advanced sense. So when we target something, you're already, I mean, think about lifting. The best part of lifting is like, you know, you're going to hit that PR sometimes before you're even done warming up. You're like, oh man, it's going down. And sometimes yeah. the opposite, like warm ups are flying. You're like, I'm just not going to hit this lift today. I don't know why I feel like I'm not going to hit it, but I do. You know, it's anticipation and predictive metrics are our most evolved parts of biology. And that's what it is. It's like, it's, it's in fact, if we look at it, you know, I'm painfully optimistic. It's a good thing. It's like your body is like, John, we're not going into sepsis. I am not letting this bladder pop. So once you see that gas station, it's forcing you to stop. 